We're live. You know who is here today, Travis? It's D-Ray Davis. What's up, man? We are live, live, live. We are live, I'm live, man. live. I'm alive. I'm not dicks. I'm alive. See, see? And you told me we shouldn't remix the open, but okay. No. There it is. No, we'll no, do no I don't matter. Yeah. We are live. We are, we are live, live, live. We are living. We are live. We are living. 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 But around the rap what up? I kind of want to. I want to see that happen for like another ten minutes. Do the extended remix. Extended. Like, yeah. The, no, the m- m- songs are literally like well, a minute, two minutes long now. Are they, yeah. Yeah. That's kinda, Old Town Road is like. I think it was a. Ni- it's like ninety-eight seconds. Yeah, it's long. ninety-eight seconds long. <laughs> really? The original was ninety-eight seconds long. <laughs> oh my gosh! And then Billy Ray jumped in and had to throw his all over. What, Made so all that third. money. That's what I'm talking about. When are you jumping in on something like that? You do literally everything. Yeah, man. Including. Helium Comedy Club all weekend long. Yeah, Helium mm-hmm. all weekend. But yeah, um, I don't know, man. I love music. Uh, I'm, I miss music, but I, I want to make sure I'm very comfortable doing it. I don't want no, no due dates. I don't want no. <laughs> I mean, I, I used to have all that. I used to, when I was writing, I had all those situations. Now I don't have none of that. Now it's like, man, I put out stuff when I want to. And, and it got to hit. It got to It got to be internet unfriendly. Right. To really make it, yeah, you gotta piss some people off. Yeah. People gotta hate it. People gotta hate that they love it. Like, why do I know this song? Have you had a, uh, doing hip hop squares for VH1? Do you get that that bite being around all those rappers wanting to jump in the studio? Nah, I get a lot of people trying to give me mixtapes to give to them. <laughs> oh my all the time. god! Man, run this by Ti for me. Like, oh man. <laughs> How does that even work? Like in their head, if you're doing that, do you just think like, well? Gave it to D-Ray Davis. He's going to make it happen. Or, like, T.I., like, what's T.I. going to do well, with it? Well, you can't take it no more anyway because you take it and then you don't even use or do anything with it. And then right. somebody makes a song like it and they're like, I gave this to D-Ray who's friends with this person. Uh, friends with that person, he must have gave it to D-Ray and they sue you. Oh, <laughs> so no. So now I'm like, I'm like, my hand's behind my back. I cannot take your CD, sir. <laughs> mixtape, uh, people giving you a mixtape or comics asking for guest spots. Which one's worse? Uh, I don't mind guest spots as much because you well, can I hear like the that. passion in their voice because I would ask. Yeah. I would I like ask that. too, but um, when when people start off like, I'm going to be funnier than you, oh, it's like, you're not going to get a guest spot, buddy. <laughs> 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 One day I'll be funny, you better you better respond. You ain't going to be good. like those. I don't respond to those. I respond to the guys who are like, I'm in the city. I don't know if you've seen me before. Go to my page, check it out. Let me know if it's funny or not. And I'll check it out. And I'll be like, oh, well, I looked at it. I'm not sure if my crowd, you know, if this is good for my crowd. Right, Rather right. than sell the comic, he's not good because. You never know, you know what I mean? Um, but definitely mixtapes, you, you take it and you put it in, somebody rapping about killing everybody, and at the end, he'd be like, and you did if you listen to this. <laughs> you like, damn, I'm going to kill you. So, yeah, you don't want that. This sounds like a new script. Yeah. <laughs> I think you we can run with this. You did if you listen to this. Has the, has the hustle changed from when you came up and, and compared to what you see now from of up course. and coming comics? Like of course, they can get on Instagram and do someone's joke from Comic View. And no one knows it's from Comic View. They wow. did a skit from it, and you're like, "Oh, that's the guy who does the." And you're like, "I'm like, no, that's such a joke." And they're like, "Oh man, get out of here! That joke is years ago." Oh, you're a hater, man. You hating? A, he got a million likes. You're mad? He, he D Ray just hating. He got a million likes. But I'm not that guy because it's a guy who got on Instagram one time and he did this rant, and the whole rant was my joke I did on Power Play, word you're for word. You're kidding me? Yeah. Verbatim. I, verbatim. It was a rant though. He's in the car like, "Hey man, you know what I hate?" I hate when I go to the club and my boy, you ever had your boy fall in club love? And he's ranting. I'm going, this is my bit. So I was going to play him side by side. Oh. But my even my side by side, because I'm not an Instagram guy, I won't get the amount of likes he got. <laughs> go figure. So why go even? Figure. So why? It's like, and it's Bless like, him but I you. did write to the guy and add him and let, hey, you do one more of my things when I fucking see you. Oh, can I say that on you? Yeah. yeah. If I fucking see you. <laughs> Wait, one, more, one more take, please. When I <laughs> fucking <laughs> see you. <laughs> I'm going to beat your ass, <laughs> and I let them know, because that's not truly a threat. See, to threaten someone's bodily harm is like, I'm going to kick your ass. I walk up here, I'm going to beat your ass. Right. You can take somebody to jail. But if you get someone a threat, it's like the police saying, cross the street, we're going to shoot you. Right. You don't cross the street. <laughs> so I'm saying, I told him, I said, use my shit again. I'm going to beat your ass. There's no getting around it, because I don't like playing that game. It's my content. It's what I wrote. It's like. Right, you it, put in the energy, you know, the time, the it's, effort. It's yeah. you plus but, your, it's your the, business. Yeah, so those comedians will see, you know, those kind of, but, the, but of course, I mean, it's good to have your own outlet, like the guys, the DC Young Flies who create their own outlets and the um, uh, the shiggies who, you know, right. do their own weird thing. It's like people just happen to, you built your own audience, people like to see you do that, right. the B. Simones, the, you know, Pretty V's, the people like that, and, uh, you know, just, uh, those are people I've seen recently, so I'm not saying my favorites, I'm saying, right. you know, those guys, uh, Country Wayne, yes. build, build your own, yeah, your own, your own audience. Yeah, 
that's that's great for you because you get to take your audience where you want to. Right. Well, when you're on Comedy View and Def Jam, it's Comedy View's audience, it's Def Comedy Jam's right. audience. Mm -hmm. So if they do a Def Comedy Jam tour, you're not in there. People are like, oh, wow, I didn't see D Ray. It's like, it's, just, it's not his tour. Right. So, me so building your own brand is important, and that today's uh, outlets allow for that. Couple questions. So you're here, you're at Helium. Back Comedy to Club back all or all in one? one. You know what? Questions. Let's see how it have flows. You ever, have you ever doubled the questions? Double right, it. I'm right. like, and then I need rapid if fire were, responses. But people do it. They're like, if you ever were that, and if you didn't. No, and I, if you I, 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 I was hated that shit in school. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> if Travis touched your hand and looked you in the eye, right. how would that go? If you touched your hand aggressively. Try it. Travis, <laughs> try it. Aggressively, but looked in, in my eye. Um, lovingly? Lovingly. Mm -hmm. mm, I think that's the Lifetime movie shit. I like that. And you know, I, it's like the Lifetime movie because the, <laughs> the husbands at the beginning of the movie seem very loving, mm -hmm. and then they slap the woman with the rose. Right. It's like, give her the roses, slap her <laughs> with the <laughs> pedal. <laughs> So what do you think? So the real question. <laughs> so to beat, so that, th those are when the men beat the women in the Lifetime movies, mm. which you shouldn't do, do at all, especially in today's age. You should never take bike, bike pedals and make a rose out of it oh, and say, you no. want pedals, bitch? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. And then the pedals go around. Sean Connery would disagree. <laughs> you slap her with the rose pedals, uh -huh. the pedals go around. It's yep. like, and she's like, wow, it's so efficient. Pedal for love. <laughs> All right, I don't so know you're here all going. weekend. Here you, all you're weekend. adding shows. Literally yes. on Sunday, you've got three shows. So that's that. Like I, I'm not surprised. People get really excited whenever you come into town. Very popular on TV. Everybody knows the live show is a super, just energetic, unreal experience as well. What's it like? What's the difference between coming in, wrecking shop on your own, doing a club and just doing just data or uh, day after day after day, and then coming in doing one of these shows that you do with five other killers? At a place two blocks from here, at a at a ten thousand person um, uh, arena. Well, I've always loved instant gratification, kind of like Prince. That's why we look alike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, same size, same, same, same size, yeah, same size, yeah. same size shoes. Just slip it in. I'm six three, but I wear five. <laughs> same size shoes, same, same, same size. tattoos, and random places. Is that right? <laughs> 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 um, so I have two tattoos on the insides of my butt cheeks, and it says the. Mm -hmm. Both say the. Is that right? I, I was, You're a mystical what man. What's wrong with you, man? They say You're the. a mystical dude. <laughs> they just say the. Yeah. Because you know what comes out of the... But uh, I, see, I when I'm on the toilet, they, it explains yeah. itself. Don't, 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 he's not right. even encouraging them. No, of they, course. Um, <laughs> You're not going to feed this engine? Are you no, kidding No, I me? love the instant gratification. I love the, the, the intimate crowd being right there in front of you, and you're getting to do 45 minutes of your own material, if you got your own fucking material. Um, All right. <laughs> where you do the big theaters, and of course, it's, it's a big, it's like the difference between doing, I mean, it's a big old show, it's a big move. You got it, the, the, uh, you, you got to wear a different outfit, like, I'm black tees, black pants, black shoes, and then on that show, you got to be glistening, you got to be Michael Blackson. <laughs> you got to be a, a fucking Christmas ornament, you got to come out, everything's bigger, you got to make sure. You gotta stop and smile. Make sure people see you in the back. Can you hear me? Everybody hear me? Kind of start throw your hands in. If you only got one shot, and in the back. On your T-shirt, mom spaghetti. Do a big ass fuck concert. Well, you come out on these shows, there's cheering, they're happy. They didn't spend a whole lot of money to say, well, they might spend the same amount of money, but they don't know it until right. they get the bill at the end. Right. Yeah, thank like, you. One hundred twenty dollars for this bitch. <laughs> Hey, it's rude, <laughs> but um, well, you know, you get that ticket, and people, I think people take home the tickets from like the Martin Lawrence, Mike Epps show, and they mm. like put it on the refrigerator. No one takes home the D. Ray Davis <laughs> helium ticket. The helium. No one takes they're too helium. busy having too much fun, just getting wild, man. Yeah, you so said I'll somebody the hit Plus, themselves with a bottle last yeah, night. Yeah, last night just got up. They're like, D. Ray's crew, you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> one, another guy's yeah. in the back doing heroin. He's yeah. like, I can't believe I'm at a D. Ray Davis show. <laughs> people do weird shit like that at my shows. <laughs> I asked you not to talk about my cousin on the no. air, man. It's like kind of weird with the heroin thing. Couples in the bag, both of them have one. It's a man and a woman. They both have one um, wedding gowns. They're sitting watching my show. Mm -hmm. Those kind of people that show up to my show, they turn. What's the craziest spot you've done, comedy? Because and the reason why I ask because <laughs> last la la last, yeah. last week we mm -hmm. we uh, here in St. Louis uh, th th they started a, uh, a laugh tracks on the trolley. Uh, we. Do you have a St. photo Louis. of the trolley? Yeah, uh, I, I, no. I, I. And you act like you're doing jokes. I, well, no, it's actually like so. It's a there are people on the trolley and there are comedians and we performed and 
with bro, one of these, with, with one the, of the, with the microphones. So <laughs> he's mad. I, I, you no, think I'm one microphone? Would like the, uh, like the, the, the no. one where you're like, hey, this is your stop. You, It'd be you like the bus driver. Oh, okay. We was on one of those okay, microphones right. telling jokes, and it was a packed, and it's a trolley. I don't know if you're hearing the part where I say it's a trolley. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Yeah, so I'm curious, what are some of the venues or spots coming up? I'm imagining you're not doing transportation um, comedy anymore but what was something to deal with great but i would right. i would just to do it because i've been challenged i like when young comics like you gonna come down to the this and i go to that motherfucking ripping it's, rip, yep. like, it's like now nah, yeah. what's up y'all right, good right right fight <laughs> anywhere <laughs> fight anywhere the ring the alley um of course there's a place you don't go challenge yourself like you don't want to go to a place where you like I mean, I like to do comedy anyway just for the hell of it. I'm just also the dude that, like, if I'm not listening to music in the gym, I'm acting like I'm listening to some weird shit just to <laughs> fuck people. Fuck just because you know people watching, you just doing some crazy <laughs> shit. Like, fuck. You're like, what is he listening to? And where is the beat coming from? You just stop. That's it. That's just me. Um, Good for you. I like to do that. I like doing that shit. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> Did that answer or, your question? Or hiking. And I, always, I keep saying no. Like, when I'm hiking in L.A. and rain, I just go, no. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. And just to see if people ask me what's going on. <laughs> just see if they would be concerned. So, you, um, what, what do you, so you I like? I like stuff like that. So I would say, I would say that um, the trolley thing sounds interesting to me, but some of the weirder places, I like when I didn't want to. Right. Uh, performed at a hair salon, standing on like this crate, and they're doing hair. Oof. And I'm like, yo, and I got the microphone. Shut up. The machine. That was seven top, seven dollars. I mm. think I got for that. Um, out here, I performed in a place I don't know if you know called Haydai, Missouri. Yeah, Super oh, South. Yeah. That's oh, South. Yes, you did, wait, 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 was that a small show or did Cedric take you down there? Small he has family near there. show, little okay. ass, tiny ass, books yeah, for chicken wings, and man. it might as well be Arkansas. It was on the it was on the floor. They stopped. They were people were dancing and stepping, and they were people eating chicken, and they stopped and said, "Hey, uh, we forgot we got this comedian. Can y'all get off the floor?" <laughs> Everybody stop. We got this comedian. I was like, yo, uh, so what's up? And like, Man, get this nigga out there. <laughs> that, that's probably the worst show ever because that was a long, long drive by myself. I drove. Oh, by you myself. drove by yourself. Oh, it was sweet. 300 God. hours from Chicago to there. Oh, no. Is Cheryl Crow from there? She's from by there or something. Man, There's that's, some famous that's, people. That's, that's why I was called a hater because I hate I yeah, drove there. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's like, and, it's, and the weird thing is, like, there are black people down there, but. Yeah, you could get lost, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, you it's lost. Mm, very. You, and that's yeah, we don't. You're in the wrong place, boy. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Oh, look what we didn't got here. <laughs> I can relate to this so Skin much. Skin mask man. for everybody. <laughs> we got us a light one. This is awful. We caught us a light one in the trap. I wonder if they work as hard as the dark ones. <laughs> It's, I heard it's, it go. You from Chicago, hey, too? This one has green eyes, baby. <laughs> he got green eyes. Woo! You're about to make us some little oh. mixed ones down here. You're going to make us an athlete. <laughs> Should I walk out of the frame? Nah, man. I mean, nope. How does nope. this work? Oh, nope. Okay. Sit in it. Sit in it. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, I'm curious, though, and because it, the city produces, obviously, some, some comedic icons, what is it about Chicago that just grooms some of the sharpest, just some of the most mm. <laughs> out of this world comedians. I would say everybody. You know, everybody has their place. Like everybody has a hood. And everybody has a, a a nice place. Everybody has a, a a dude in the hood that could fight, and they got a dude in the hood that can't fight. Everybody right. has a, right. So I'll say everyone <coughs> creates their own con comedy. But I would say the thing about Chicago, um, the flavoring that's different about Chicago mm. is that everybody there's uh, where you go to new york people look up to maybe the athletes and the, um i don't know what the, like the thing is in new york is but in, in la people look up to actors in chicago we're known for organized crime mm -hmm. uh mafia moves <laughs> yep. uh fucking just drug dealing shit mm -hmm. so it's like people look up to them. so that comedy that to make those people laugh mm. has to be a different the thing it's okay. like entertaining the king like back in the day when you really court jester or get beheaded like yes. you got to really fucking bring it to be funny the midwest itself like you got to bring it because people everyone here problems. believes they they're better than you right right like it's not like <laughs> yeah, they say in la they say la all the crowds are bougie and all that or new york oh they're this fashion week and all that but no not better like people feel like hard-working people are just as good like whatever you do like you this is a place where your parent grabs your arm if you're trying to go meet somebody they say hey don't give a fuck if that f football player's over there. You could be a football player. Mm -hmm. And the kid's like, I have 
to Jesus and I can't do Like, yes, you can. You can still make it. But they said I have three weeks to live. And your parents are like, <laughs> your parents are like, no one cares. You're going to the NFL. It's like, it's impossible. Just <laughs> time-wise, just everywhere. <laughs> time-wise. Just, I'm nine and they said, I, I just want to go shake his hand. You make him come shake uh, your hand. But the Midwest has that. Like, yes, and, that is dead yeah. on. Your dad's your dad will drop you off in a fucking deer tractor. Like, yes. you embarrassed the off business. <laughs> like, and that's nowhere else. Like, not in New York, not nowhere else where that happens. Where they, and, and so when you go on stage, you have that those stories. Right. And you talk about like me talking about my mother. I've never seen. I know never seen somebody do it. Talking about their mothers being on drugs the way I did until now. I did, and now it's like people Everybody do it. You know what I'm saying? Right, I right. see it. So when they do it, I, I let my fuckers know. Like, yo, this didn't exist. You know right. what I mean? And then. Um, we, the, just the sessions was different, like the whole everything, like the roasting sessions, and I, I think it, it it and it spread out, yeah, and it became that. So I would say, like New York comedy was always aggressive, like the the New York basement. It was like, yo, yo, what's up? <laughs> and then they had the the place where you go perform, like the cellar, where you can right. you know get your jokes off, build your sitcom. Everyone, every place has that, but as far as like that pot where those comics rest, mm-hmm. no one really sounded like each other a lot. You right. know, you want it to be different. You want to fucking. Ain't many comics make it out. You say I mean, right. comics from New York, billion comics. Chicago, just I feel like just really getting a true shine. True. Like I didn't know a lot of people were from Chicago because they didn't have that. What like Corey Holcomb, D. Ray, Laurel. You know, you it's like you. Yeah, for long as I didn't know Laurel. Laurel from Chicago. Chicago. Like, and now you're know like, that. you know, it's like okay, you got it. Like you okay, we we out here. Deion Cole, like you like we're out here. Right. Like, you know. And now people are making their moves in their packs. Like the Detroit people are moving. You right. Know, the St. Louis people are moving. Like even G Thing's doing great now. Yeah. You know, it's staying working and consistent. So it's uh but that that Midwest flavor, man. It's like that fucking we talked about shit before people talked about it. Yeah. You you're in experience this because it's kinda country, kinda not. We're like motherfuckers out here country. Right, right, right. We don't want to be country, we is though. <laughs> thank, thank. <laughs> how how often do we say that over here? You're like, yeah, damn, I'm really here. fucking no, country. Yes, like, we do be on the yes. porch here too. <laughs> <laughs> and it's supposed to be the Midwest, but we be on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> we will wear barefoot. We will go to store barefoot if we know everybody. Like, you know, it, it has that, you know. That's a good point. And then this, and then you guys the comedians certainly segue, and you mentioned sitcoms. You mentioned, in your case, now you're doing things like Snowfall and FX, and you're hosting Hip Hop Square. You like, you guys are versatile. Like you're able to just merge into. I'll say that, anything. The, and I'll say that. Uh, although I was speaking of the outlets earlier with the comedians, as far as like Instagram go, I'll say those people, unwillingly, the m- millennials or whatever, open up those doors because. People start putting them in different places. Like yes. you have an Instagram page and a guy's like King Batch. You start mm-hmm. putting them anywhere. Or he's doing a Pepsi course. You're doing that. So people start being more open. And then the execs come from that world. The new execs. Okay. They come from seeing Instagram. And they come, right? they come instead and they'll of, see you. In, yeah. in, in, instead of seeing you on Def Jam, the new execs have seen Instagram and seen that. So right. I'll say it opened those doors for me to be able to do anything. I'm, I'm Back in the day, you couldn't do hosting, and then Anthony Anderson couldn't host that, then go be a serious actor. Right, somewhere. right, you know, right. Take it serious. Uh, although we get our, you know, get the few people like, oh, I was waiting on D-Ray to tell a joke on Snowfall. People still watch the show. They're like, end of the day, he just killed two people. They right. just, this shit is still moving. It's still real. <laughs> right. Empire, yeah, he was, oh, that's D-Ray, but oh, he did just pull out a AK-47 <laughs> and shoot the guy in the car next to him. It's like, right. you know, it just makes it more serious. And I, I'll say my, I got lucky with a comedic transition uh, in 21 Jump Street because I was out, I was able to be funny. I was still a gang member, and at the end, I'm fucking hanging out of a car, fucking limo. Right. <laughs> I'm like a fucking middle of St. Louis. <laughs> and, and they looked at it and they're like, D-Ray, first they're like, you know, turn this way. Like, turn this way. And then like, you didn't go shoot this way. And I'm like, all right, about to take seven. I'm like, Rambo, give me two guns. And I remember watching that go, and they're like, is it me? Is it D-Ray really? Shoot, shoot everybody. Is shoot everybody and shit. Ad libbing words like bitch. I yeah. shot the girl. I shot the girl in the limo. I was like bitch. And they're like, they're like, they're like can, we, can we do another take? Don't, don't yeah. call her. She's in high school. I'm like, like she's not really in high school. <laughs> so, as far but, as that process that goes, the, the, like, like with stand up, you have to earn it. It's gonna you're chopping it up, just going, fighting through those terrible shows, working your way up, getting better. better. Did you have that with acting? Is it like that, or is it is acting more natural? Well, I feel like once again, I got. I got for all a, I know, you have a, a I coach. Had a, I had an alley oop because the barbershop. I just had to come in and right. say I was selling shit. Yeah. And by the time I got to the third take, I was bringing shit from my house. Like those are my daughter's pampers. <laughs> the, the dogs. When I came with the dogs. Not. Tra- I didn't know that the dog. They had to go through so much paperwork after that to get the dogs clear because the dogs weren't 
Dogs on Swivy on set. They weren't right. fucking active dogs. Those are the, <laughs> those are some guys' dogs outside. I was like, don't you use your dog. Right. They could have bit everybody in there. Ice Cube. God damn, get that dog. <laughs> they got dogs out here this big. <laughs> I just want to hear him say that about every animal after the snakes. <laughs> So it, it, it so that transition was yeah that much was easier, easier for me because yeah. I would and at the end they're like I get the serious moment who bought you the Freon it's still some funny shit I'm talking about air conditioning I deserve to be in the shot too so I had that movie alone I got I had acting training I had great actors in there man and um you know you had the new a lot of new actors like Mike Ely was in there he's laid back Cedric had did so much yeah and so I had you know much I, I'll, I'll ending, say almost. yeah I'll say I didn't have to really fucking go all out I, you know I went to class but that shit ain't teach me shit I went for like three <laughs> three times really? the girls was pretty <laughs> <laughs> what is what how important is that to have a guy like Ice Cube in this industry being able to shepherd talent through this industry that normally it's, would probably go ignored if it wasn't some, for it's like impossible without it right everybody that I, I, and I say this um, like Tyler Perry I, I'm not um, why, I watched a lot of his movies, but I haven't seen like who, like who's the breakout breakout star. He right. he came in where people were like he he worked with who he wanted to, which he was allowed to. And then he had his people from his plays that he found, mm -hmm. and he put them in stuff, wow. put them in power positions. But um, all that together, he had to see that first to put people somewhere. Yeah. John Singleton didn't see nobody. Cuba Gooden Jr. He didn't see no. You know what I mean? Right. He had to see that first. He had a couple people that, and they traded off afterwards. They were like. Who's strong? Who can we put in these positions? So Tyler Perry putting people in positions. John Singer putting people in positions. Lee Daniels putting people in positions. Yeah. So you need those people end of the day. Right. You know what I mean? Regardless of where you end up, you need those people. And John, if you think about what he did, he put Ice Cube in a movie. Ice yeah. Cube went on to put everybody in movies. movies. <laughs> exactly. Ice Cube put Chris Tucker. Yeah. Chris Tucker ended up using Ice Cube uh, put, I mean, anybody put in the movies, Pretty blew much up. blew up. Mike Epps. Mike Epps blew up. Mike Epps started doing his own movies, his own wow. production company. Um, then you got Cedric, who was in, you know, in Barbershop. Then he went on to do his own solo projects yeah. after that. He had did a couple, you know, movies, but nothing like what Barbershop right. did. And then um, just, it, it just what was necessary. You got to, if you don't have that person helping you at all, or, and you know, some people, you know, you, you, like I've done a lot on my own. Comedically, right. I do a right. lot on my own, produce my own um, shows and comedy shows, but. Ultimately, without somebody, there's someone in a position that I'm going to need because it's below me. Right. Uh, if there's an actor just coming in, but he's beyond talented, so I couldn't even pay him for his, his product. If right. it was a, a Coke deal, right. I would relate right. things to drugs. <laughs> I have a bad <laughs> habit of doing that. Right. And um, you just, you need that. It's important to have an ice cube. Like, even him on Hip Hop Squares, as hard as he is on me, we're moving the show along. Right. As hard as he doesn't know how hard my job is. <laughs> he, he does he, he doesn't give a damn. <laughs> D Ray, I need this show to move it. So we going you, you feel you feel the slow? You feel it? <laughs> yes. Yes, Mr. Q. I feel the slow give, show right now. Give him my regards for Three Kings, one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. <laughs> Can't wait Oscars for that, right? Man, I love money. that damn movie <laughs> to this day, man. Ice Cube is great in that. Uh, Travis, you got anything else for I know. I, well, I know we talked about a little bit out there, and, and I, we talked about people who helped shepherd you throughout this industry, but we, we of course, lost John Singleton yeah. uh, recently, and I know he played uh, has played a major role in your career. What, what was it about John's presence um, and, and for those who are not familiar, was as close to him as, as you were, explain to how, how much of an impact he had on your career and then, of course, the impact he had on the culture. Well, for me personally, it was always little bitty shit. Like, John, the kind of person that, you know, he'll tell you. He'll call you out of nowhere. I got something coming up. Don't be fat. <laughs> I'm like, damn. All right. You put a hot, hot dog and piece in your hand. Like, Fuck you, John. <laughs> Put this hot dog in this piece and roll it up. Piece of dog. But that was an odd move with my hands. Uh, I was like, it seems really that's comfortable. That's how you make right, it. It seemed like I knew yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. So they talking about a relationship with another yeah. man. It's like, hey, what you do is you put it. You want to make it in Hollywood? Oh, 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 okay. You ever use the salt in expensive places? <laughs> what? <laughs> Anybody have to shake weight? <laughs> um, but he... Uh, he, with me, like, person, he just would say shit like that. He was always, like, just mean to me, I guess. <laughs> In instances, uh, he taught me how to be still because I, mm. I move a lot. Even now, like, even um, not knowing I'm doing it on purpose, but I used to always fucking everything is this. In comedy, we do that. Right. You, mm. Your hands, you build your fucking set 
while you're there, so you have to learn to separate. Because mm. it's like talking to a boxer and always talking to me like, you know, yeah, motherfucker, you know, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? He had, he had to learn like, like Mike Tyson now, like I did Mike's spot, and Mike is like laid back, and he's like, Mike is like, you know, really back now. He's like, uh-huh. so how do you feel about that? And I like that, Mike, rather than a... The, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Do you think that's switching up? I mean, the guy's smoking a lot of weed now. What do you say? I he think said, that helps. Yeah. But I it's still it knock you out. out slowly. Oh, Man, yeah. You but um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll say John did that he, 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 and with acting. Show me how to plant my feet, mm. deliver information without having to be all over the place. Um, so he's just important, man. He's in, in, And hopefully people, you can't talk to him anymore, but hopefully you can go look at his work like... Just because someone dies on me, you can't go look at the blueprint right. and look at the way he made things move as far as the transition. It's uh, sort of like they do with the the other director. I, I can't think of his name. I, I fucking one of the best directors ever. Not Quentin. Um, married to Madonna. Uh, uh, was it? Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. That motherfucker. Like, like shit he does. Like right. you go if he if he weren't weren't around no more. Bless him being here. You go look at his shit, those cuts, those like all the shit. No, uh-huh. first you don't do that. Then even when they did Shaun of the Dead, they kind of bit off Guy Ritchie a little uh-huh. bit. Like it's whole <laughs> well, they did. <laughs> well, once things move forward, it just becomes commonplace, and you don't even think about the origin of it and how insane it was that that wasn't even a Dun- thing. Yeah, a right. thing. Right. It, it, right. It's it's so. And John strange. does this thing where it's like you just gotta just watch. If you go watch the people that was in it, you know it has something to do with the direction of it because everybody's on the same. No one's beyond over the top. Right. You know no you're right. Beyond and Snowfall is that. Everything's right here. You know, no one's like super big. And if they are, it's like so downplayed. It's like he'll rather go lower than big. Like someone would be mm. real stupid uh. than they are like like Snoop Dogg and Baby Boy. The little boy got the fort and Snoop like, fuck your fort and kicks the little boy's forty <laughs> bill. He's like, why the fuck you see that at? <laughs> right, right. Where do you see that at? <laughs> right. It's a John Singleton <laughs> movement. So I'll say the culture is definitely going to miss him. But I mean... People move up and down and all around for things for other people to, to come in and make things greater. Right. You know, you learn and make make the Michael Jordans make the room for the Kobe's, make room for the LeBrons. Yeah. The, the bigger LeBrons who not better than Michael <laughs> Jordan, but just bigger. Oh, I definitely this, bigger. I knew the Chicago. De- de- <laughs> definitely more of a force. <laughs> <laughs> more friendly. <laughs> I've had more conversations with LeBron. Um, I'll say not not many, but uh, enough where great person great guy super athletic best doing it right now unstoppable this is what i mean but as far as like better than michael jordan was smaller able to you know you put the you wanted him to have the ball at all times no matter what team he was on one of them had a ball but it's the comparison of lebron is here lebron is able he, he has the kobe turnaround he has the mike uh, he has the, the Charles Barkley fucking that two-handed shit is ridiculous. Is that jump stop dunk, no one could fuck. The fuck fact, no, no, no one could stop that. Mike, Mike never had that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. If Mike is underneath, it's going to be some fake. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Barkley, fake one. After that, we about to go. Elevator up. <laughs> Have you spoke to Michael Jordan? Uh, I've had a conversation where I, when I um, met him, I spilled uh, my drink on him. And he said, this is when he was making Michael Jordan everything. And he said, oh, don't worry. It's Michael Jordan rainwear. And I was like, ah. <laughs> my alcohol, my alcohol ran, ran down his arm. And it was like, my alcohol was like, I'm falling off Michael Jordan. I've but, had enough of this. But yeah, but yeah I've, I've had a c- couple conversations, but not, not to in depth. I've talked to his son a lot, though. I've talked to Marcus. Marcus, Marcus since, like, since you're my new Jays. And before they come out, I got the new jumpers. Oh, oh that's what's up. All the shit I, I paid for before that I get free now. Yeah, oh, that's dumb uh, shit. Yeah. Oh, you, you got money now? <laughs> Give me everything yeah, free. Yep, that's how it works. So I'm gonna use these ten years. Yeah, that's the problem. He's the number. One. I think he's my number one. Like, I don't. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin whatever yeah, god like yeah, no, I have. I yeah, I have it's, Jordan, it's Jordan and Denzel for me. Jordan yeah. and Denzel. I just want. I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't know what to ask. I remember Will Smith. Uh, he did the uh, uh, Seven Pounds movie, and I was like, oh shit, Will Smith. And uh, I'd seen him a couple times. And Jada had had me audition for some before. They had like they had their, they had their production deal. Right. And I seen Will, and I was like, man, we got to do something, like, because it's Will Smith. And he said, what you want to do? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> no fucking idea. <laughs> well, the average prepared, the average prepared person would have like um, handed him a script. <laughs> and I'm like, Pinterest. I don't know, man. Fresh Prince 2? <laughs> It's not getting any better than that. Go see D-Ray yes, and Helium please. this weekend. I added three shows on Sunday. My gosh, you're a monster, man. And what we're going to do at Helium, we're going to just run this tape. 
Yes. I'm not performing oh, shit. Fuck. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the star. <laughs>